Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, my readings are timeless, so when you hear them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you get alerts when my videos are posted. All right, so we got a hammer out here, meaning you hit the nail on the head, so something you are doing or something you're seeing is correct, Sagittarius. Um, something about sabotaging, something about rebuilding, something about an interrogation, somebody asking you questions that basically feel like an interrogation, so a lot of questions all at once, or you could just be getting interrogated because you could potentially have gotten yourself locked up. Um, something repetitive, being persistent, and something working on it, so a consistent thing, something that keeps happening, so repetitive could be cycles. All right, we have a separation here. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, a yearning and unsure of the future. So some type of separation. That was the final nail. Final nail. I don't know, however you say it. You know. Um, the runner. So somebody running away from something. Somebody that's running away from a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to your ego. Okay. Um, we also have the palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. And we have the healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction. So running from something, you have left the building, Sagittarius. You are leaving something behind. You're not dealing with it. It's just not on your things to do right now. Okay. Um, so a separation being separated from person, place, or thing, a situation that's no longer serving you, needing and wanting stability and security in your life, doing something different. Um, apparently, you're going through some spiritual growth, from pers some personal growth right now, and you just don't have time for whatever this situation, whatever this person, whatever this thing is, because right now I'm getting a vibe, Sagittarius, like it's all about you. You're trying to figure out what you got to do in your situation to get you where you need to be for the next thing that you're um trying to do on the menu okay all right so sagittarius there's passion here you have passion for something or someone and you inspire somebody so somebody may have has passion for you all right the first card that came out is i can't imagine life without you in it so apparently you then left somebody or something behind and they can't imagine life without you in it meanwhile back at band camp you can sure imagine life without them because apparently something about it was toxic. Somebody saying all they want is you and they miss you, Sagittarius. Um, somebody is throwing rocks and hiding their hands. So they could have been doing stuff and acting like it wasn't them. Meanwhile, you know that it was them. Because like I told you from the beginning, hit the nail on the head. You know exactly what you're talking about. All right. You know the, what something's not right and you know it. Okay. Um, I am blessed. So Sagittarius, you are totally blessed. Somebody wants to see you today, Sagittarius. Somebody thinks that you are heavily protected by divine. You have angelic bodyguards surrounding you, all right? Like personal security. You could potentially be on your way to celebrity status. So maybe you have some type of platform that you do. Uh, and, and somebody's saying, I'll do anything to make you smile, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to call you boo. Somebody wants to call you their boo thing or their shorty. Um, apparently a manifestation, nothing is impossible. If you can dream it, you can achieve it, Sagittarius. Something about up north or Minnesota is important. Something about white. So I don't know if you like white cars, the color white, white girls, white people, or you could just be white, okay? Take it how it resonates for you. Either way, you could be potentially dealing with a Gemini. Um, somebody saying, tell me what I could do to make you happy. Somebody wants to make you happy, Sagittarius. Um, and they're saying that they don't know how to love you properly. They want to do everything that they can in their willpower to do what you want, but they don't know how to love you properly. They wasn't taught how to love, right? So somebody wants to be your soulmate. Somebody thinks they're your soulmate or somebody just wants to be together with you for forever. Somebody that uh, looks like you are living your best life and feeling amazing, Sagittarius. Um... Somebody saying magic is everywhere and nothing is a coincidence. So you can be going through a spiritual ascension, uh, uh, Sagittarius. I don't know why I was going to say something about an Aquarius. So you could potentially be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Nothing is a coincidence and everything is important. So pay attention, Sagittarius. Somebody could drive a Toyota, a Honda, a Kia, or an Infinity. 
um somebody is definitely doing magic because that's sex magic now but something about magic being out there so you could be protect practicing protecting protecting yourself from some magic you could be doing some magic or you could just be a magical ass person all together okay a magical ass being Something about social media, and I just said that, you could um, have a platform, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat, or they could just be stalking you from all of those, finding, trying to find your social media. What are you out there doing, Sagittarius? Something about feeling trapped, trying to spend all their free time with you. So codependent, feeling trapped, totally a thing. Somebody trying to hold you back and hinder you from spiritual growth or physical growth. Again, somebody saying they wasn't taught how to love. They wasn't taught how to love you. So they think you're beautiful and you mean the world to them, Sagittarius. Or they think you're handsome and you mean the world to them. Or you think that about them. Take it how it resonates. Something about Thursday is important or significant, Sagittarius. Money flows to me with ease. Money flows to you with ease, Sagittarius. So that's a manifestation of money. You could be manifesting money right here. Something about a restaurant or a cafe or a lounge is important right here, right now. And somebody is building their dream house, wants to build their dream house. And they said that you're always kind to strangers. And they love that part about you, that you're a sweetheart or very nice to people. All right, what's important? Okay, we're going to say this. What's important to Sagittarius right now at this time? So let's figure that out first. What's important to Sagittarius right now at this time? We're going to get three cards, and then we're going to go into the tarot. Okay, so all three of them came out at one time. So what could be important to you, first and foremost, for that is getting all your cards out on the table at one time. So telling the truth, all right? All right, a mature man concerned and a child. So mature man is being mature in a situation. So what's important to you could be maturity of a situation. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. How are you handling this? Um, concern. Acting like you care about something. So you want somebody to act like they care about something, Sagittarius. Like, stop playing in my face. Act like you care about this. Like, whatever it is, it's not funny. It's not to be swept under the rug or pushed aside. You trying to deal with it in a mature firm form form and fashion and then 18 child somebody could potentially be in childish there could be children involved or there could be some new shit oh you starting some new shit right now here and there you know whoever this person is or you they could be thinking you're starting some new shit Sagittarius you weren't acting like that before so the numbers are 5 33 and 18 okay so let's get some cards on this Somebody being mature about a situation. Somebody needing to grow up over here because you're concerned about their behavior. Or this could be an older person dealing with a younger person. So you could be older than them or they could be older than you, Sagittarius. Either way, it's giving you some concern, which is now giving me somebody dating an older person or a younger person. And maybe you are concerned about, is this really going to work out because of the age difference? All right. So we have a queen of pentacles here. That is the earth mother figure, grounded, calm. So that's definitely giving me somebody being mature, an older person dealing with a younger person. So somebody's a little bit older in this situation. You or them, Sagittarius. But somebody's thinking about their financial needs, their financial future. So investments, investing your time, energy, and space into this person. That could be potentially important to you or that could be a concern of yours. Should I do that? Am I wasting my time? So growth right now, Sagittarius, is important to you. Making changes that actually help your future is important to you, okay? All right, so we have the Four of Swords here, Sagittarius, which is rest, retreat, re-energizing, meditating, contemplation, recuperation, or a need for some, some type of seclusion in order to process your emotions, which is why you're concerned. So maybe you're in deep thought right now over whatever this situation is. Either way, whatever's on your mind, you hit the nail on the head. So something's right about it. Okay, so now we have a tower here, which is an ending. Okay, take it how it resonates for you because a tower could be a beginning of something after everything has fallen away or it could just be the end period that's just the end and none of this shit's gonna work so uh falling apart a sudden change a sudden change happening in your life right now sagittarius some clearing away making room for new things making room for change the tower is a representation of destruction that everything in your life feels like it's crumbling and you have no way out of it something abrupt 
The weakest parts of your life have to be torn away, Sagittarius, here in order for you to build something strong and sturdy in its place. Something that could last a lifetime. So let it crumble and move out of the way. And sometimes that's hard because we want to hold on to the things that we have, not knowing that God is trying to bless us with something new. Also, sometimes we're stuck in our ways. So an older person could be stuck in their ways. And it could be somebody young too, but I'm going to go in with older people because, you know, you're stuck in the ways you're used to doing something in a certain type of way. And now you may have this younger person coming along saying, oh, you should try this way, but making room for new things, something that is sturdy, something that is firm. So after everything has fallen away, it's time to start rebuilding your life. And what if that's the thing that God is sending you something younger, something, you know, to give you a fresh perspective or something new. Or if you're younger, God could be sending you something older to put you in a, a, a better position because that is sturdy, um, giving you some some type of structure. All right, Sagittarius? Um, we have the Knight of Wands here. And that's adventurous, being adventurous. So just loving life for what it is, not Thinking too hard as to, okay, this person's younger than me, this person's older than me, this person's more stable than me, this person's more this. The person basically looks like they are, y'all got two en energies as well. So something different, you trying to run, or it's just you and them, their energy, somebody trying to move away from a situation. But either way, there's something different here. That's the vibe that it's giving me. So... Focus on a new opportunity, but not good with following through. So trying to make sense out of this, but you're not moving. You kind of in thought, you know, over this, like, well, okay, what do I do? How do I do this? Is this going to be right? Um, like a lot of thought, but not following through. All right, so you have the world here, which is a level up, a completion of a task. So something being finished here. So whatever this tower was, whatever that was behind there, it was finished. So something that ended during that tower that is not coming back, okay? So a resolution, excuse me, a resolution here. Something, a door closing and a new door opening, a chapter ending and a new chapter starting. So you're in a new cycle right now, Sagittarius. Um, obtaining what you seek it represents completion success and fulfillment so that tower may have felt bad to you but you didn't realize it was helping you out actually to clear out some energy for you and to bring in something new so understanding that you're greater after everything that you've been through all of this stuff that you have been going through Sagittarius now turning you into something different something better something better than you've ever been Okay, so then we have the Three of Cups here, a level up also in your friendships, also in your community, also in your status. So bringing things, bringing people together. I like it. Feeling positive, celebrations, weddings, baby showers, just having fun with your friends and living in a moment, Sagittarius. Letting go and letting God, just enjoying your life like you here. So why not enjoy it? All right, then we have the sun here. The sun is yes. The sun is success. The sun is happiness. The sun is all is well. The sun is birth of children, birth, bringing things into fruition. It's positivity. It's light. It's power. It's growth. It's radiance. The sun is very uplifting and it represents your happiness, your joy, your vitality, your optimism. It's like having faith in where you're being taken to, okay? So just understand, mm, okay, definitely having faith in where you're being taken to because it's like a new beginning out here. It's a whole new world, Aladdin vibes, um, the new beginnings. Okay, Sagittarius, you're heading in a different direction. You was feeling sad, lonely, and blue after that tower hit, but not realizing that God was trying to help you out. I'm taking this away from you because I'm trying to move you into something different and something better. Bring you in more celebrations. You being celebrated. Four of Wands. Like, come on, Sagittarius. You out here killing it. Um, the fool. Taking steps that someone could consider foolish. So dealing with somebody that's younger. Dealing with somebody that's different. Dealing with somebody just doing something that somebody would consider foolish. Meanwhile... It's to better your life. It's to help you out. You see the the door, the one that closed. And you also saw that door that God opened for you when he closed that other one. All you have to do is walk through it. So it's like listening to your intuition and doing what you can. Doing what you want, even though you're scared. So you may not know where this is about to take you. But 
knowing that this pathway is going to take you in the right direction in order for you to have the experiences that you need to learn to survive and to grow okay then we have the four of wands here sagittarius and the four of wands is celebrations more celebrations you got celebration after celebration happening right now all you got to do is let go and let god live in <laughs> live in the life that they trying to bring to you okay sagittarius so graduations, achieving your goals, obtaining balance, completion in your work life, friends, bringing more balance. So somebody could actually be going back to school to learn something new, something that will also help you in this level up or this new person coming in teaching you something new that will help you in this level up, something that they know. I also saw the Ace of Pentacles, literally new money on the table for you, Sagittarius. You have a King of Cups energy out here. Somebody that, listen, your reading is awesome, okay? It started off a little shaky, but either way, you knew what you were doing. Like, you may have went through some stuff, Sagittarius, but the end result is happiness, the sun, all is well, celebrations, enjoying life. Like, okay, yeah, you working, take some time. Like, it might be hard because you're saying, I got this, 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 and this, but living in the moment because it's going to put you in the right direction. You could potentially meet somebody at one of these celebrations, or if you already with them, you know, still putting you in the right direction, but you could potentially meet somebody at one of these gatherings that is designed for you. Somebody that's emotionally stable, somebody that's in touch with their feelings, somebody that's not afraid to love. Somebody, because you had somebody up there talking about they don't know how to love you. But in King of Cups energy, somebody that know how to love you. Somebody that know how to enjoy life. Somebody that knows how to talk, communicate properly. Somebody that knows how to, like, I'm getting PDA. Like, public displays of affection on you. Like, love on you. So, Sagittarius, this is the reading. Thank you for coming to my channel. Yeah, go with God. <laughs>